customer feedback, satisfaction, loyalty, voted number one. Project Barracuda. Tell us what you think. I'm Brian Mead, Systems Analyst. I'm Brian Mundy, Network Operations Manager for the City of Westerville, Ohio. We're a suburb of Columbus. We've got about uh, a little over 35,000 residents. We've got a small town atmosphere here. It's friendly, a lot of beautiful buildings. The parks are wonderful, our community center's great, and it's really a, a family-oriented city. Uh, one of the things that you're always on the lookout for is spyware, viruses, malware, um, you know, just unnecessary sites that may just be spam. Uh, nobody likes to have that, and here at Westerville, even though we're offering a free public Wi-Fi service, we do our best to make sure that that's gonna be safe and productive for the um, users. With Barracuda, there wasn't a pricing per user, which instantly made that a, a great success for our public Wi-Fi because we're gonna have thousands of users connecting to the Wi-Fi, where with the, with the other vendors, we'd have to buy a license for every device that we would wanna track. As work in the help desk and work in support, you know, people get viruses, you know, on their computers. So um, it's nice to know that that Barracuda is protecting our network even before it gets in. Content works great. If there is a problem, the great thing about Barracuda is it's very easy to troubleshoot and make it right. I called support. There was a lady that answered the phone. You know, I didn't have to hit one or go through a menu tree. You know, I connected. You know, spoke to a live person. A live person answers the phone and transfers you where you need to go. You know, explained what was going on. He said, okay, you know, this is what you need to do. Um, he was able to establish a remote connection, you know, back into our Barracuda, which is um, done through SSH encryption, you know, so it's completely secure. Within, you know, 20, 25 minutes, we we're back online. So it was, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. Content filtering wasn't a new idea to the city of Westerville. Once we started bumping up our internet speeds to, you know, 20 megabit plus, uh, the older equipment that we had, uh, which was the border manager and the WebSense, really started seeing performance degradation and some serious problems. What would happen was that if we were using border manager, you know, we'd call WebSense and say, hey, your, your web filtering is not working properly. They'd say, okay, well, that's because, you know, you're running border manager 3.8 and you need to upgrade to 3.9. Well, you know, you'd upgrade to 3.9, you know, and then Novell would say, oh, well, this isn't working properly because you need to be on the you know, version three of WebSense. And it was just a constant battle back and forth. Well, I mean, you, you get two devices for the two servers and then you gotta make sure those span ports are configured. So that's three pieces of real configuration that need to happen. With the Barracuda appliance, uh, all that's really taken out of the equation. The main connection that you have gone to the internet, the Barracuda sets on that. So one line goes into the Barracuda, another line goes out to your firewall, your router, gateway, whatever it may be in your, your scenario and that's all there is to it. With Barracuda, you have one point of contact. You know, there's one version, there's one piece of hardware, and that really simplifies things. It comes down to compatibility, meeting the requirements for the city of Westerville, and uh, you know, just being an easy product for the end users. And I think that's where Barracuda really blew away the competition.